Welcome back to In the Trenches. Steady position now. Easy trigger, squeeze, aim, pick up a good sight picture. Exhale, or if you like, hold your breath. Focusing on the next target, the Iowa State Cyclones. Fire when ready. We play Iowa State team that's, that's off to a good start. They're coming off a big win for their program at Kent State. First road win in a lot of, in a lot of tries and, and uh, 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 Big 12 football. You know, very, very physical, very big football team. Uh, uh, they uh, can challenge you physically, offensively, but they also have a, a – they're sophisticated. They, they can finesse you as well. Uh, defensively, again, they're going to be hard to move relatively, just like we faced the last couple of weeks, relatively veteran outfit on the defensive side of the ball that uh, – that um, you know that they know their way around the system. So uh, another great challenge. Okay, this time we'll take questions from those here in Randall Hall. Go ahead, Sal. Uh, Sal and Turnow from the record. Coach, how much of a measuring stick will this game be for your program, considering the step up in conference uh, playing a, the Big Twelve? Uh, it's hard to say. You know, again, every every week is just a it's, it's a. It's a challenge all unto itself. You know, you've heard my mantra before. This is the most important game of the year. And the reason it's the most important game of the year is because it's the one we play this week. So all of our attention and focus and effort is, 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 uh, is going to be uh, in the moment. Um, the challenge is different than it was a, year, a week ago um, in, from a couple of different angles. You know, how they're likely to line up, how they, their style of play um, where their where their weapons are as players, uh, you know, a hostile environment. We're going to be playing in a place where you're not going to be able to hear the guy next to you if they don't want you to. So, all those things, uh, um, you know, the, the the challenge moves and it's going to get it, it's going to be an uphill fight. We know that most weeks it's going to be. You know, physically that's okay. We're used to it. We expect it. Uh, we look forward to it. It's it's going to be a great challenge. But that's that's why we signed on for this. Can you talk about Jamison's play and how he's picked up some really? Well, Jamison's a guy that, as you say, in that in that whole uh, mess out there, is is a guy you can count on to be right. You know, he's he's uh, uh, you know he's not the most dangerous guy with the ball, but he's he's where he's supposed to be, and he, he's situationally present, and he's 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 turned into a very very effective blocker. We know his background as a receiver, uh, so he is he is absolutely. Uh, uh, the steady Eddie in that group where we know he's going to be right. We know he's going to be where he's supposed to. He's going to take care of the football. He's going he's to get what's there. He's not going to get a whole lot more right now, but he has a little of that in him. And uh, uh, so obviously that's the stabilizing influence in this whole, uh, uh, whole circus act right now. Uh, Coach, this is uh, Blair Kirkhoff. I'm with the Kansas City Star newspaper. Hey, um, I'm just wondering if you uh, – if, if you're aware of what Iowa State had planned in terms of uh, your team taking the field on, on Saturday, a tribute to the Army team. And, and if so, what, what do you make of that? Uh, I, frankly, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not aware. Um, if you can explain it, Blair, to the folks here in the room. Yeah, um, I, I think Iowa State announced this uh, yesterday that, um, uh, that they were going to – uh, have a take a field take the field tribute uh, to to your team, uh, encouraging their fans to you know to, to give uh, your team a standing ovation when it when it when it takes the field on on Saturday. And um, it, it, it kind of I guess in, in one sense it kind of goes against the nature of a visiting football team going into an enemy stadium. But uh, uh, I think everybody recognizes the difference in the service academies. And uh, if, if you could, is there any way to speak generally about this? Well, I, I think it's encouraging. I, I think it, it, it speaks well of, of Iowa State. I, I think uh, these these are extraordinary young men. Uh, and as representatives of the Corps of Cadets in particular and, and the other service academies in general, um, I, I think it's uh, you know it, it, it's appropriate. Uh, again, I applaud them for, for recognizing that. Uh, their uniqueness and, and, and the and the uh, the challenge that these young men have taken on that go way beyond the game of football. Um, then, if if they would just carry that that sense of sportsmanship over into the when we're trying to check plays at the line of scrimmage, that would really be impressive. Now, that would be good stuff. You know, if they really mean it. You know, I think. But uh, we'll see how far that goes. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Any other questions for those joining us via teleconference? All right, we'll take one final round here for those who ran a hall. Go ahead, Lindsay, in the back. 
Uh, Lindsay LaCorey, Time Warner Cable. You said it, obviously it's going to be a physical game against a Big 12 team, but who specifically, what playmakers are you focusing in on the scouting reports for Iowa State? Uh, who are their weapons? Yeah. You know, Robinson or not, they're, they're running back and their quarterback. Um, again, they, they, they've been very productive. Uh, they've got a, a, a stable of some, some receivers, including a tight end, that um, it's hard to be tall enough. You know, we, we have a lot of fun with our, our tall receiver. Where they've got a bunch of those, those guys running around. Uh, maybe not quite 6'10", but, but probably much more, not probably, but much more uh, uh, polished receivers, a much more efficient outfit uh, running around back there that make for big targets. Um, and in that, in that uh, their willingness to involve the quarterback's legs in the run game as well as his ability to, you know, pull the ball down and, and, and make all those throws, uh, you know, they, they, make, they make it hard to have enough defenders on the field to defend all the things you, you get from them. And, uh, uh, but obviously the ball goes through their quarterback's hands, are not on, on, on every snap, and, and that, makes it a, that makes him the, a, a clear focus. You said that um – in some facets of the game, you think that your team took a step back on Saturday. What can't happen for victory against Iowa State? Well, uh, obviously, if the ball's all over the ground like that, it's going to make it awfully difficult. You know, we're not going to say there's one thing that's going to un, un, you know, undo this thing, but we know how the turnover battle correlates with success in our game, and that this, this week will be no exception to that. Um, you know, we play a style of football where the, the – the ball is going to be exposed, and if we're not efficient and proficient and detailed, it, it'll it'll be hard against a team that's gifted on defense, again physical on the defensive front. You know, we're we're uh, uh, um, you know we're, we're we're significantly light. You know, consider, compared to their 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 uh, uh, their personnel and, and their and what they're used to seeing on Saturday. So. Uh, I'd like to say that they're going to be dazzled by our speed and quickness, but I'm not quite sure that's that's the case just yet. Uh, but we're we're gaining on it. Thank you. Any other questions, Mr. Go ahead, Coach? Since the Iowa State press kit is remarkably deficient in telling me what they do, pro set offense, standard four. No, defense? you're going to see a lot of uh, a lot of seeing th three and four wideouts. Okay. Uh, they're tied. They're tied in. Sometimes line, lines up like a tight end, and sometimes he looks. He looks like a receiver, and the, the bad news about him is he looks pretty good at both. Uh, their quarterback's in the shotgun. Uh, Robinson's back there with them, typically. Uh, they uh, zone read. They, they're doing some – they're reading some stuff. They're running some option. They're, they're involving the quarterback's legs aggressively in the run game. Uh, a very, very big, very physical offensive line. Um, you know, so they can, they, can, they can finesse you with the quarterback's legs. They can, they can beat on you with, uh, with Robinson's legs and a very physical offensive line. They've got a, a big receiver as a tight end who can challenge you because of, you know, take advantage of his size and skill in the passing game, but come back in and be an effective blocker. So um, they, they, they challenge it on a lot of different fronts. Both Army and Iowa State enter Saturday night's game with two and one records. Kickoff is set for 7 p.m. at Jack Trice Stadium in Ames, Iowa. The game will not be televised. You can listen to it on 770 AM WABC, 1390 WEOK, or 1340 Wall Radio. Well, uh, Iowa State and Army have met twice before in football, both times at Mikey Stadium. Back in 1964, Army won 9-7. Four years ago, the Cyclones even the series, playing in the first ever Friday night game held at Mikey Stadium. Iowa State scored two fourth quarter touchdowns to come from behind to beat Army 28 21 in this game. A late Black Knights scoring drive was stopped on downs inside the Cyclones 25 yard line. Then Army quarterback Zach Dahman threw for 233 yards in the game to become Army's all time passing yards leader. Well, since 2005, both programs have made coaching changes. Army has actually made two. Bobby Ross was the coach at the last time they played. Stan Brock replaced him. And now Rich Ellerson is Army's head man. This year also happens to be the first year on the sidelines for Iowa, head, Iowa State head coach Paul Rhodes. Well, coming up, still more to come on In the Trenches. Saturday's best, our hit of the game and play of the game when In the Trenches rolls on. <laughs> 